mighty angels of God has been now stationed and taken their positions around the world in many many important oceans in the pacific ocean i saw these angels taking up positions everywhere huge mighty angels over the pacific ocean pacific samudra samudra tin me the south china sea region let me accurately tell you where exactly in geographical position he is stationed there is an island in the Pacific Ocean called Samoa. Put one point there and draw a line straight up to Japan. Here in the Japan, or a couple of near code, where are you? And draw a line straight down to the Solomon Islands. Here, Solomon, the people who are there, one key code, where are you? And then join it to back to Samoa Island. Mean to my, the Samoa people are going to join it to one code, where are you? You will have a triangle. One muk code, where are you? We will put them all together. That is where he is stationed and facing towards the Asian nations. Other are the Asian nations, including. Australia and New Zealand. Oh, check the heaven. Oh, check the heaven. That's what happened that day in 2004. One more time, it will happen again. That is why those angels are positioned and stationed in the Pacific Ocean. One more time, it's going to take place. Here goes. Our of his judgment has come. Mahal na araw may magandang balitang hatid sa Pilipinas ang isang respetadong Indian prophet na dumalaw sa bansa para sa pagdiriwang ng tinaguri ang Jubilee of Jubilees ng bansa ngayong taon. Makakaligtas daw tayo sa isa pang malaking trahedya sa dagat tulad ng tsunami na tatama sa Asia. Pero may mga kailangan tayong gawin. Alamin sa pagpapatrol ni Israel Malasa. Sa propesya ng respetadong Indian prophet na si Brother Sadhu Sundal Salvara, sinabi niyang may panibagong trahedya tulad ng tsunami ang magaganap sa Asia. Pero ang good news, makakaligtas daw ang Pilipinas. Kailangan lang magkaisa ang iba-ibang simbahan sa bansa sa pamamagitan ng tatlong araw na National Day of Prayer and Fasting. What God wants you to be, to cry for the sins that the land has committed during the past 490 years. Payo ng propeta, mahalaga ang sakripisyo ng pag-aayuno para maisalba ang Pilipinas sa tiyak na kapahamakan. Lord has kept it reserved for a mighty type of the rise up again. It is 
land. God's anger will come upon the islands of summer and between. A huge typhoon is planned to come over there. There will be disaster through flood. Palawan. A great flood and great typhoon will come upon Palawan. Many people are dying there. There are hundreds of places waiting to be flooded in the Philippines. There are the smells of water in many of your places in your land. The Lord says death is coming by water. A great, grievous death is coming to Palawan. Grievous death is going to come to Mindanao. The Lord is going to pour His bowl of breath upon His places. They are many yeah, there is the smell of water in many places of your land. Many people will be drowned. Maybe you may have faced many types of danger. But this coming danger will be great in the eyes of the world. Hundreds and thousands of people will be scattered. Many houses will be ravaged. Many people will be refugees in their own land. A very pitiful state will come upon you where you will have to depend on other people to help you. Children will die of hunger, of pain and of water. Many children's bodies will be thrown in the streets. Many areas will become muddy and swampy. Many great dangers will surround your nation. The Lord says your rivers will come upon the land. At the place of Kangasuna, the Lord says it is in the northernmost part of your land. From there, a grievous disease will spread all over the world. That will consume the flesh of man. All their upper skin will be changed to decay. It will pierce to the bones. The fear of this disease will spread all over the world. The Lord says this will begin from the Philippines. It will then spread to Cebu. Another new disease will spring up from Cebu. The Lord says another disease will come from Boko. It will be a challenge to your nation. This disease will spread very widely so that every people will fear. It will spread all over the land and then it will spread into many nations of the world. When this disease spreads the man, it will cause the man's body to turn black. Many old people's bodies will burst. Their bodies will decay and become raw. People will be afraid to bury such people. The Lord says such plagues will come to surround your land. There is going to come mighty floods in Luzon and Cebu. It will come as a result of winds and the water. All these dangers will come that history has never seen before. All your irrigatable land will be destroyed. At that time you are going to stretch out your begging hands for food from other nations. Okay. Your children are going to die of famine and hunger. Seventy islands of your nation are, going, are waiting to be disappeared underwater. The water will rise up against them. The shouts and the cries of the people will be very terrible. The water around the coastal cities will pass over the coastal cities and enter into the land. Many people lose their property. Many people take away in sunlight and land. Earthquakes will come in your land. Volcanoes will erupt in many places. There will be cries and troubles in the land. These are all the grievous dangers that God has against your land. Okay, your young people will become captives. The hunters and the captors will increase in your land. Wicked people will walk in the streets of your land. They will kill many people in broad daylight and throw their bodies in the streets. There will even come a Dangerous times when people kill each other for food. Yeah. God says many buildings will catch fire. God will set many uh, buildings with fire and shaking. God will cause dangers to come to lightning and thunder. Because all the dangerous disasters that God has sent for this nation. Even then God says, but all this will only come to pass if you walk away from God. If you will consider me during these days of grace. If you will turn your face and depend towards me. If you will rise up from the streets of character. Nothing of this death will come upon your land. I will fight them. I will turn the wheels away. I will scatter the diseases. I will cause the irrigation land to be fertilized. I will cause the hundred for hours in their troops. Therefore, my beloved nation, the great, these days of death that are given to you. 
important for you to make a quick decision. These are the good things that I've taken for your land. You must choose between the good things I've taken for you or the work that I've taken for you. I have given a short time for you. I am calling the churches to repent. Oh, Philippines, oh, Philippines, I have stretched out my wings and I'm waiting for you. As a chicken will get, as a ham will get a chicken, I am waiting to fight you under my knees.